definitely more nutritious. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Gemini Man, the new Will Smith movie directed by Ang Lee. A film that is a very peculiar sort of scenario here. This is a movie that has absolutely mind-bending technology in terms of facial scanning and facial recreation. And not only that, it also is shot in a higher frame rate than that of normal film. If I'm correct, it's 60 frames. I heard 120, but I don't think that's possible. The last time that something tried to do this was The Hobbit. Uh, at least The Unexpected Journey did. They did it at 48 frames per second. That movie was very jarring and it kind of felt like everything was in fast forward. This is much better. This is much smoother. This is much more, less kind of uncanny. This is a lot more vibrant in terms of how it's shot to the point where I heard that they couldn't put makeup. Like they only put very, very light makeup on the actors because quality was so clear that they could see when makeup was on actors. And because the frame rate was so fast, the punches can't be fake. The action isn't possible. You can see when guys are faking punches. So this was something they did in post. They actually added the hits. They added the late reactions and whatnot. This is all seen on the Corridor Cruise video for uh, Gemini Man, which honestly is actually far more entertaining than this movie is. The action scenes in this film aren't bad. I'll give it that. They're pretty cool. Uh, some of them are pretty well shot and the dynamic of the young Will Smith versus the old Will Smith, really, really cool. And I honestly can't understand or explain why it was put into this movie. I honestly can't because it's boring. I spent half the movie wondering whether I should go to Booster Juice or not after the movie. I was that bored. And it's because this movie is bland. It has been done a dime a dozen, whether with a clone or not. This whole government agency trying to go rogue thing has been done so many times and there's nothing interesting about it. The movie is probably about as bland as its humor, which is very bland. I think people laughed at one joke of an entire two hour movie. On top of that, very much like my experience with The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey in high frame rate, this movie fucked up its frame rate. The theater had to fix itself twice. First, the 3D wasn't aligned, and then it started doing these weird kind of stop and go things, kind of like you, what you used to have when a DVD was scratched or, du or dirty. They would have that kind of skip and stop thing. I didn't get a free ticket afterwards, even though that was a kind of a was hoping for that because honestly this movie is very fruitless the story is very very bare there is some attempts at trying to be a little bit more deep with the connection between will smith and his younger self but it goes as far as just basically will smith talking to a mirror and the facial recognition that will be the most interesting part you will get is seeing junior's face because 99 percent of the time in this movie it looks damn good at the very very end there's a scene at the very end of the movie where it's like fuck that's fake there is a lot of work and detail put into this not just in terms of how he looks but how he reacts how the light hits his face how the environment around him aside from the ending, mirrored onto his face. From a tech perspective, this is a really cool movie. Why it was put in this movie, I don't understand at all. It's a boring movie. It has no rewatchability except for the technology, which will be lost when people get to watch it on their home systems because they don't have the capability. Most don't have the capability to watch it at this. Gemini Man, for me, is a two out of seven. And this is just an unfortunate loss because really, I can't explain to you why they put this tech into this movie. Of all the movies I put it in, because Will Smith and Ang Lee were directing it, I, I just don't get it. Maybe this will open up the avenue for doing this sort of tech in future movies but as for this film if it dies with this film i won't be surprised because of just how boring and just very lackluster this movie is anyways guys that's all for me i hope you liked this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video to see any and all updates about the upcoming undergrads movie be sure to check out and like the bring back undergrads facebook page and with any luck we'll see you guys soon